The land is considered one of Vietnam's most spectacular regions. The iconic Grand River Delta, where lush green vegetation blankets the muscular karst formations that jut right out of the rice paddies and tower below lying rivers. Nutrient-rich tributaries feed and filter through mangrove-lined southeastern coastal areas. The convergence of three types of terrain creates the rich cuisine of this land that provides so many authentic dishes. In this week's journey of fine cuisine, let's join our new friend John Ligon to explore the diversity of cuisine here. Hi, my name's John Ligon. I was born in a rural area of the southeastern United States and grew up enjoying the great outdoors. I've always found the beauty and simplicity in nature. I've lived in Vietnam for almost a year now and have found this country is a treasure of natural beauty and flavors that are absolutely stunning. Wow! If the climb doesn't take your breath away, the spectacular views certainly will. Come with me on a culinary journey that will be eye-opening. From paddy fields lining rivers, to the mountains, and to the sea. Let's explore the true simple beauty of nature and the bounty of food it has to offer. Here comes Ning Ding Province. I came to Ningbing on a typically hot, humid summer harvest day. Flocks of herons pass over the last of river rice paddies needing to be cut. The atmosphere is lively in the Na Dong River. Unlike other rice fields, what makes this region unique is the rice fields lining the river. Good morning, Vietnam. I woke up this morning and uh, got in a boat with Miss Lat. We headed down the No Dome River and we're headed to actually go to the rice fields. Wow, as you can see here, people are transporting the rice through boats. It's unlike anywhere else in Vietnam. Sencha. Sencha. <laughs> but what is absolutely amazing is this is Lat's ride to work every day. She gets in a boat, paddles down the No Dome River. There's no hectic, crazy motorbikes like Hanoi, which is my drive to work. Rice fields and water all around us. Karst Mountains as a background. There we go. Oh, Come on. Okay. And it looks pretty simple, doesn't it? Just cut. All right, look at that. Higher. Higher. Ah, higher up. This doesn't seem too hard. Is that better? Smell the fresh cut rice right here on the water. How long have you been doing this, Lat? Cô đi gặt từ lúc mới có 11, 12 tuổi đã phải đi gặt rồi. Cô phải đi gặt 50 năm nay rồi. Gặt 50 năm rồi. Gặt lần lượt này. Better watch out, she's got a knife in her hands. I don't want to miss any rice over here. The water is too deep here to use a machine, so it has been done timelessly for generations before. Everything is cut by hand. An industrious pair of hands can harvest 360 square meters of rice within a morning. All right.
As you can see, we're on our way back from this morning's harvest. I spent three hours at the break of dawn cutting this down. It's been a hardworking, phenomenal experience. I have scratches on my arms, legs. You know, you go barefoot. It reminds me a lot of the Native Americans back home in the U.S. who have such a close connection to life and nature and each other. The countryside of Ningbing in harvest season. What is more wonderful than a family lunch with newly harvested rice? It is also a simple thing that everyone expects after hours of hard work on the fields. Miss Lat taught me to cook rice with boiling water. By that, the outer layer of rice is shrinked, forming a protective layer. The rice won't be cracked. This method helps to retrain, retain the nutrients and the aroma of the new rice. Ah, the water's boiling now, so Lat's gonna add in the rice. Toyet, boy! Great! The cooked rice is also softer and tastes better. A signature ingredient that can only be found in the Vietnamese countryside is the copper crabs. After work, farmers often catch a few copper crabs from the fields and rivers to add to their family meal. Cua đồng là nó sinh sống ở ngoài đồng ở ruộng lúa. Nó sẵn mồi nó ăn là nó béo hơn là cua thành phố họ nuôi. Okay. Đây này. Nó béo nó nhiều gạch. It is the main ingredient for the crab soup. Beside uh, crab noodle, bunzi o, that I often eat in the city. Oh, wow. oh, we're gonna grab him by the claw. And she says, Ugh. Ah! Ah! He got me. These little guys are finicky, and they hurt. In the countryside, people have been using the same cooking techniques and tools for hundreds of years. There is no better example than the stone mortar and pestle used today. Crushing copper crabs in the stone mortar like this make the broth sweeter than using a grinder. Crab soup is usually cooked with Malabar spinach and sliced sponge gourd. All these vegetables are typically grown in the home gardens of local people. When the water is boiled and the crab brick appears, we add the vegetables. Most of the food they grow is for themselves and they use the environment around them to sustain their lives. And everything is right there at your hands. You just gotta go out and cultivate it. Everything's fresh, from the vegetables, the fish, the kua, the little crabs that run around. It wasn't like he was going out and, and catching 100 fish at once. What they do is they get enough food to survive a day, two days at a time. Anything left over here? All right. It's like a monster. Oi, oi, say oi, look at this monster. Using straw for cooking is a traditional cooking method of Vietnamese people, associated with countryside lifestyle and the wet rice agriculture region. The rustic taste of country style dishes that are fired by straw so carries the unique flavor that a modern kitchen just cannot replace. 
The grilled fish doesn't need to be marinated and pre-processed. We just clean the fish and put it over a fire. The fish's skin becomes scorched but provides a protective layer for the moist fish meat inside. It's hot and I'm sweating profusely, but I still feel very happy and I'm eager to enjoy these special dishes. The fish looks charred and crispy right now, almost to perfection. As you can see, this is a huge fish. It's gonna take the full 20 minutes to be cooked fully. I can't wait to taste what's on the inside. How delicious, the smell, everything. <laughs> Cooked rice, crab soup, sauteed morning glory, and roasted snakehead fish, Vietnamese eggplant. Also not to be missed is a side of nook mam sauce. Make a divine family meal. In Vietnam. <laughs> Come on. Ah. Yes, yes, bang, bang. You don't have a meal by yourself. Everyone sits down and eats together. You don't have your own one plate of food. Everybody shares. You know, we had the kangkua soup uh, and the rice. Uh, it just feels amazing that we put that on the table. That was us with our bare hands going out in the environment and getting everything we need to eat right then and there. The Lowland Plains give people here a unique seasonal meal with locally sourced ingredients that reflects the charm of the countryside. The picturesque limestone mountains in Ningbing also offer a bounty to firmly rival the beautiful landscape. Black goats, white goats. Hiking and roaming around the karst formation landscape is the Ningbing mountain goat. Hi Ling, so uh, why are we here today? Hôm nay thì uh, mình sẽ giới thiệu cho John về uh, một cái món ăn đẩm thực uh, từ rất lâu đời rồi nhưng mà hiện tại thì nó không còn phổ biến nữa và hôm nay thì mình uh, sẽ tái hiện lại cái điều đó để John có thể hiểu hơn sâu hơn về ẩm thực của Ninh Bình Hôm nay mình sẽ giới thiệu cho John cái món là dê nướng đá The basic ingredients of the roasted goat on hot stone includes goat meat, ginger, chili, lemongrass, Clausina indica. All are chopped into small pieces, then marinated with the goat meat for 30 minutes to enhance the flavor and aroma of the goat steak. Sau khi đã ướp 30 phút rồi, thì mình sẽ bắt đầu là để miếng thịt dê này lên nướng. All right, sounds awesome. So you just place it on the hot stone. Adapting to the environment has been key to the success of Vietnamese culture. People here have been using stone, which is always available from the limestone mountains, to make roasted goat meat. Instead of using wood or charcoal, the goat is roasted on stone. The fire will not burn the meat directly and avoids drying out the goat meat. It retains the full cool, savory flavor of the goat. Trong khi nướng là mình phải chú ý là đều đảo đều các mặt để cho miếng thịt dê nó chín đều từ ngoài vào trong. Ah, thơm quá. Got a regular grill master over here, Ling. Wow, I can smell the ginger and lemongrass and the garlic cooking now. It smells so savory. Wow, 
That looks absolutely amazing, Ling. I cannot wait. After being cooked, the goat meat is sliced thinly and rolled with herbs like stink vine, ficus leaf, and basil. Oh, yeah. And of course, sauces mixed with ginger and garlic cannot be missed to fulfill the taste of this dish. Cheers. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm speechless. It's so flavorful and delicious natural, the, just the simple ingredients, but you can taste a little bit of everything. The mint that's added to it now, the ginger, the chilies, it's delicious. I had the opportunity to try some goat salad the other day, and it's, it's quite a remarkably different taste to it. I had a goat salad. This is a goat steak. I'm a steak man, so you can imagine that I like this better. Ling, you're one hell of a chef, man. As a coastal district located in the southern part of Nimbing province, Kim San is blessed with a diverse natural ecosystem that encompasses 105,000 hectares, for which 18 kilometers borders the coastline. The most surprising delicacy can be found in the coastal mudflats, one of the most authentic specialties that puts Kim San on the culinary food map is the Nyek raw fish salad. It's a must-try dish that is only featured in this region. Whoa! Feels great to be out here with Twee, a local fisherman. Ah, uh, we're looking for some nake, nake, nake. I haven't seen one of these infamous nakes yet, so I'm a little excited. I hear it's something like a snake. Something like an eel, maybe. Not really sure, but we're on the hunt now. Ooh. Mr. Twee has been catching the elusive neck for a living for more than 30 years. With his experience, he can easily notice the trace movements of a neck, even if they hide under the mud from four to five meters. You must experience it yourself to truly understand the difficulty of catching a nyak. This is one tough and dirty job. Can I try? Three. Ah, we just... Mike Green, I'm buying for world's dirtiest jobs right now. Wow, what an elusive creature the nake is. We've been out here for about an hour. It's 35 degrees. Sizzling. I feel like I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. Ah. Yek is a genus of eels in the snake eel family. It lives in salt water and brackish water. It has the same length as an eel, but looks like a lamprey. Since Yek are very slippery and aggressive at the same time, catching one takes quite the skill. It looked like a normal river to me and I wasn't sure if, <laughs> if these little uh, nyaks would bite me when I'm walking through the mud or get bit by crabs. All right, so we're looking in door number four. These snakes are very elusive and they're, whoa, what? I think we got one. All right, I'm in. Oh, he's got a he's got a strong tail here, quite slick because he's in the mud. What my name? Is there a special bye, way bye. we got to hook him into him? There we go. Woo! All right. Do I just grab him behind? Whoa! No, 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 no
Bắt là bắt mày. Right here. Does he have teeth? Đấy. Pretty crazy. I really don't want him to slide at my arm. Tui. Ah, good job. <laughs> I think we might have something for lunch today. Wow. Oh, those are crabs. Get a baby one. Wow. Got him, baby. Woo! Đi về về để nằm gói nhạch. Okay, detour. Ah, literally, let's go. <laughs> Neck fish is cleaned by ash or lime water to reduce the fish mucus. Local people use a knife to chop up neck bones to separate meat and bones of the neck fish. Next, neck is sliced into small pieces. To enhance the flavors, neck is mixed with fried roasted rice powder. Since we're eating raw fish over here, eel, snake, what ingredients do you use to help kill the bacteria so it makes it safe to eat? Cái này là mình không phải cần dùng đến cái gì nữa vì cơ bản là ở trong này là giấm của nó nào nó đã chua sẵn rồi. Con nhạch này này là đừng chọn cái con nó nó to quá mà đừng chọn cái con nó bé quá. Con bé quá thì ăn thịt nó nhão. Mà con to thì ăn thịt nó khô nó gây. In many Vietnamese raw salad dishes, the harmonious combination among different vegetables is always considered a top priority. The herbs that were used with the nhạc raw fish salad include ficus leaf, stink vine, ming aralia, basil, cilantro. They not only enhance the taste of dishes, but are also healthy to eat. I actually love the fact that Vietnamese people use all the ingredients around them and there's so many things to pick from. And there's a saying, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. And that's what Thuy was saying. Đây là lá sung. Sung. À, đây cũng là lá mơ. Nồng đánh chéo dấu cộng này. Đây là lá đinh năng này. Phải xong này đây là lá kinh giới này. That's a lot, okay. Đây này. <laughs> Quận là hình cái hình cái phễu này, đây là mấy vài hạt muối cho vào đây, Đấy, xong rồi đến cái củ hành, Great. Đấy. Đấy, xong rồi múc tí cái này, đây là chảo cho vào đây, rồi ăn. <cười> cứ ăn. Yeah, yeah. <cười> I'm a fan of the chow. That's really delicious. Kim San's neck raw fish salad is famous for its sauce called chiao. The ingredients are very familiar. Grinded shrimp, fermented rice, grinded pork belly, and cashew helps to create the orange-red color. All are mixed and boiled together. After that, we have the sauce chiao to serve with neck raw fish salad. I love, you can taste each of the flavors individually throughout this signature dish here. I can taste the chow. I don't taste any fishiness. It's a little chewy. I can definitely taste a little bit of the mint and the other vegetables. I think it tastes great. Toy at boy. Nan qua. My favorite part. <laughs> We've come to the end of our journey here in Ningbing province. It's certainly been an eye-opening experience for me. Hopefully it gave you a little taste of the culture and cuisine. Thank you again for coming. Doi Io Vietnam. Nói gì nhỉ? Ạ? À, em không 
on.